Hi, I'm Molly Ballesteros with the City of Lubbock Water Education Team. I am the Education Coordinator here, and today we will be teaching you guys how to maintain your rain harvesting barrel once it's been set up. So let's get started. So you will receive, when you pick up your barrel, a barrel that looks like this black one on the screen, plant not included, this wooden stand that's underneath the gray barrel, you will also receive a lid for your barrel, an installation kit that's got some tools, parts that you'll need to install, a hose and hose kit, and a bag of gravel. The only tools that you will need to install your barrel to the gutters is going to be a hand drill. And we will provide all the necessary instructions that you will need within your barrel kit. So once you've got everything put together, there are a few basic maintenance tips that we'd like you to follow. One, check your gutters bi-weekly for any clogs or debris buildup. Two, check the diverter. And I'm gonna go back one step. The diverter is this attachment into your gutter. So that's where the water goes into the barrel and then where the overflow will exit the barrel and back into the gutter. In addition to that, make sure that there's no water pooling around the bottom of your guttering system. If there is, we recommend using one of the three methods below to extend your gutter. So that'd be a downspout attachment, a guttering channel, or a hose to extend your gutter. And that's going to prevent damage to your foundation from water pooling around the barrel or your home. And then the gravel Placing gravel around the base of your barrel stand will help prevent uh, mud from building up. And we want to keep that area nice and dry so it's safe for y'all to get near the barrel after heavy rain. In the winter time, we do recommend storing the barrel, although we will get some precipitation that may um, be able to build up in the barrel. We don't recommend leaving the barrel outside year round. So drain your barrel. Before the first major freeze, we recommend doing this in end of October or early November. And also the barrel can crack in cold temperatures and we don't want damage to happen. In addition to that, um, once you take apart your barrel and get ready to store it, this is the perfect time for you to give it a good clean. Um, it's a just good practice to keep it clean to prevent algae from growing in the following year. So we either recommend using vinegar and water or a baking soda water mix and scrubbing it out with a brush. After you've got it all clean and dry, we recommend storing it either in a shed or your garage. To prevent mosquitoes, ensure that your lid is either as pictured, sealed tightly around the barrel, or flip your lid over and place the plant on the top, and the plant will give it enough weight that'll make it difficult for the mosquitoes to enter. This is a closed rain harvesting system, so it's not open to the, on the top. There's no mesh screens, there's no overflow port where little bugs can crawl in. So we don't expect to have a large mosquito problem, but if you do get mosquitoes in your barrel, um, the treatment for that would be using mosquito dunks. They're tablets that you can purchase online at hardware stores or at specialty plant nurseries. So these tablets contain bacteria that will only affect mosquitoes and they won't damage your lawn or your garden. Algae. Algae can build in your barrel if your water is stored in the barrel for too long. So once your barrel fills up, use that water. Don't let it sit for several weeks. If you do get an algae build up, um, empty your barrel, Scrub out the barrel using a brush with vinegar or water or baking soda in water and let the barrel air dry completely. Once it's nice and dry and clean, go ahead and fill it back up. If you have any further questions on barrel maintenance, send us an email at watereducation at Thank y'all. Have a good one. 